Uh, we've seen what is happening in our country right now. Like in a span of one month, we've, have, we've had around two scams and people have lost billions of shillings. What's not happening? Where's the disconnect? Anthony? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah it's, 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 it's a concern especially to us who are in the formal financial services ecosystem um, and who should play bigger roles in advising what to invest, how to, how to point out real and fictitious uh, opportunities and uh, we all bear that responsibility. The five things I want to share with us today about getting away from scam and it's about identifying an ideal asset, an ideal investment. Of course the word ideal sounds radical because is there anything ideal in the world? The answer is yes and no. So anytime you are offered an investment opportunity or a chance to put money to invest. Look at the following five things. If you tick them, you are safe. The chances of being scammed um, are negligible. One is, does that investment have a demonstration of a profit or a return or a payback? Is there a proper demonstration that I'll get something back? And most scammers, they work hard on that point. <laughs> so, so make sure you tick that very well. But that's not the end. Number two, ask yourself, does this investment grow? So don't confuse growth and income. Mm -hmm. Income is what we get every day. For example, if you own um, a rental house, Income is the rent. Growth is not the rent. Growth is what? Is the appreciation in value of that asset. The value of that property. So, number two. That opportunity to be put on your table, does it grow? Number three. Is that opportunity liquid? And by liquid means, can I get out? As the, fat, as the fastest opportunity with no loss in value or material loss in value in case I'm in, I'm in such a hurry. Sometimes you want to get out of an investment and you can take a small pain because you are too much in a hurry. You want to move to something else. We call it liquidity in, in investing language. That's number three. Number four, which is paramount and all of us ignore it and is a reason why scams, scammers succeed. What is the measure of security? Or how what's the measure of 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 safe or safety in that investment? So if it's anything to do with a physical asset, is there an authentic document of ownership? If it's a car, is there a logbook? If it's a piece of land, is there a title deed? If it's a, it's, it's a lease document, and that document is authentic, you can touch it or you can see it. It can be verified by the issuing authority and, and it's valid and by, can be exchanged for value. So it can support number three, it can support liquidity. You can exchange it for money. Safety. And then and the last one, which is more critical, and that's why we had said earlier, we have no choice than to invest in skills and knowledge and some education. Is that opportunity understandable? And don't say, I'm not an expert. Don't say, um, me, I'm a farmer, I don't understand finance. Don't say, um, I'm an Uber driver, I don't understand finance. Uh, don't say, um, you know, I'm in the art industry, I'm a good guitar player, I can write poems, I can, I can, I can, I can be a good MC. So I don't know finance, no. The people who are offering you that investment opportunity, they should simplify that jargon in that investment opportunity. You as a layman, with your little knowledge about finance and investing, understand that, the ability to understand. And they should never, we see doctors. Doctors are very learned, technical people. But they're able to tell us what is ailing our bodies. <laughs> They don't give, they don't 
mention stomach ache with its biological name. They say you have a stomach ache because you ate bad food. So make sure that professional is able to, who is offering you that product or that investment chance opportunity, make you understand. So return, growth, liquidity, if that is good English, understandability, you should be able to understand. If those five things, you cannot put a tick on them, walk away. Walking away might actually be the opportunity. Yeah, yeah thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. I think um, when I was looking at the, there's a clip that was going around on social media regarding um, a lady who lost three million and she'd actually borrowed money from, I don't know, the son and the relatives, and it all came to three million, and she ended up putting in this particular scam. So yeah, I, I totally agree with you, Anthony. Like, those five components are very, very important. Yeah. Anything to add, Robert? Yeah, so you've explained it uh, elaborately. Mm -hmm. And just to add on that, uh, when you look at personal finance, it is a life skill. Yeah. So for life skills, you just have to be curious and open-minded so that you can learn. Because mm -hmm. remember, the money that you work hard for is for your personal needs and living life. So you also have to take good care of it. Otherwise, uh, the scammers take advantage of that because they know that lack of awareness is actually the biggest opportunity. Uh, uh, when they look at us, we work very hard as an entrepreneurs, as entrepreneurs, professionals, so there's high probability that you have money and they've done their research. They know people work in banking sector. <laughs> They're likely to be earning, you know, we are sharer people. So uh, the only way to protect ourselves is through skill set. And I usually say skill set is the first layer of risk management. Because if you are aware of stuff like what is the reasonable uh, rate to get investments in the country, uh, what are the rates that banks are lending at? If they are lending at 25% and someone is give, in a year and someone is giving you 40% per month, you should ask yourself why that person is not going to the bank to get a loan. Because the job of banks is look at bankable projects, you know, initiatives with such guaranteed income that scammers claim. So if banks can't invest in it, just think twice. Ask yourself why they're not doing that. So it's very, very important. Then on sources of information, it's important to understand the layer of financial markets 101. So you have to be curious, know who CBK is, National Treasury. So that is the grandfather of money in a country. And you can see how silent they are. Even CBK are under them, yeah? yeah. yeah. Then under CBK you'll have banks. Then you have yeah. capital markets authorities. Yeah. You have uh, SASRA for regulating circles and claim financial assets authority. There are people who think they are poor, but probably there are relatives who passed on and they have a lot of wealth someone they don't know. So awareness can help you. As you get interested in financial markets and on one, uh, what insurance is, you start learning. Yeah, and I believe with curiosity you can learn. For example, if there's a football match or Olympics, we figured out which teams, uh, we get statistics of the best athletes, you know. So the same go with finances. If you go to CBK website, there's a lot of information, Capital Markets Authority then since it is a life skill, you'll get better over time. And not through your life cycle, you'll need different things. There's a time you need to understand about retirement uh, or uh, insurance for kids. So you just need to be open-minded. Then as you build your knowledge and skill, also have trusted people in the financial services industry that can give you information. So in terms of relationship management, I always tell people, yes, digital is good, but it's always good to have someone that is a phone call away that you can verify information with. So that could be what can save you uh, from losing the three million like the person we are talking about. Yeah, so money works in networks uh, with the knowledge and you can see it is a world that you can live for the rest of your life without knowing that it exists. That said, the opportunities for making mistakes are they far ma much outweigh the opportunities for making money because people live their life without that awareness. So it's very, very important to have the awareness and from the awareness, uh, there's no guarantee that you'll be successful, but it increases your chances of success.